Hey there, I'm here to show you how to make this really big flower that was in my bouquet for the month of June. So this flower is five petals repeated. I'm going to show you how to make one and then you repeat it a few times and glue them all together. So here's one completed just like this. So we're going to take a, I have this big flower here is a four by four square. So we're going to take our square and we're going to fold it in half just like this to make a triangle. And then we open it up and we turn it and we do the same thing on the other side. Make a triangle, just score it and fold it. Open it back up and then you're going to fold halfway this way. And you fold it just like that. And you open it up and you turn it and you fold it halfway just like this. So now we have folded our square into eight pieces. And now we're going to take it back up into a triangle just like that. Whatever you want your inside of your petals to look like, I chose the pink. That's what you want on the inside of your fold when you do this first fold. So now that we have our triangle, we're going to take the end and fold it up to the midline there so that the points are touching. And the same thing on the other side. With origami, you're always repeating your folds. So now we have this square. I'm going to open our squares back up. And now you're going to fold the corner all the way up to this little line that we made here. Just like that, and give it a nice crease. Once you get into more folding more and more, it gets harder. So now we're going to take the other corner and we're going to fold it up just the same as the other side, right to that midline there. And now we have this piece that looks like this. And we're going to open up our end again and we're going to stick our finger in between there so that we make that fold go in the other direction. And we flatten it out just like that kind of like a diamond shape or shaped like a kite. So we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to open it back up. We're going to get our finger in between those two pieces there underneath. And we're going to make that these two folds go the opposite way they were originally. So now we have these two kite, actually there's three kite shapes right in a row. So now we take our point here and we're going to fold it down so that it's flush with that edge over there. And the same here, fold this one down so it's flush with the edge. So now we have this. Now we're going to take this side and fold it in. I'm going to take this side and fold it in. And now we have this here. You can't see any of the pink anymore. And we just bring our points together. And we're going to glue that right there and use a nice strong pop dot works good or glue dot like extreme squares from glue arts. Let's get that on there real good. One pretty much holds it so just line up our edges when we glue it together and then I fluff it back out so it's nice and round and I like to curl this petal up a little bit so now we have we have two of them here and we're going to put those together just like that and you make three more and now you have five so there's your flower. I added a little button to the center because it's got a hole, you know, that you can see right down in the middle. So I covered it with a cute little button. Thanks for watching.